Hey guys, it is Whit here from Beauty Pop, and if you can't tell, one, my top is extremely bright. It is, I don't know, if it's it's kind of like a yellowy green. It may look more yellow, but it's got more of like, it's almost like highlighter green slash yellow. It's not yellow, but it's like a highlighter green. Um, and second of all, I am in a, or my background is different, and I'm in a completely different location than when I than in comparison to where you normally see us. So we normally do film over at Jessica's, and um, if I have any videos, I typically have gone there. And for a long, for a while, I've actually had I have a camera, I have a mic, and I have a ring light. Uh, and I've had a ring light that I paid two hundred dollars for, like forever ago, and I've never used it. So I'm gonna attempt to maybe start to film some videos. Um, by myself and maybe give you different types of videos that I can maybe spend more time on um, because I can do them from my apartment uh, versus me and Jessica actually now since I've moved a couple different times when we started our YouTube channel we lived in the same town like less than five minutes from each other then I moved a little bit further away um, and then now I am actually over in St. Louis closer to work so we're probably about 45 minutes um, away from one another now um, but I figured I'd give this a shot so please bear with me I know the lighting is it's probably going to be off. You can probably at least see my face and I, at least I'm lit up which is the most important piece and I think I need to get a few more lights because the background is very kind of dark. I wanted to kind of just share some of the things that I take with me to the gym. So this is typically the stuff that I'm going to show is if I have to go to the gym to work like to work out if I have a training appointment right after work and I don't have time to run home or change or do anything. So I take this is the gym bag that I have. It's a Nike. It's a Nike bag. It's not It's not a huge duffel bag. It's a smaller size. I think I actually got this in the kids department from Daisy Penny's for like 20 bucks. So I always take, I always switch. I always like to take a sports bra with me just to change, to get sweaty in. I don't like to sweat in my normal bras, but, and I like more support. So one of my favorite bras that I'm upset, they don't make anymore. So this is from Pink, which is from Victoria's Secret. So this is a pink yoga bra. They made a couple, a couple years ago. I don't think they make them anymore. They have similar ones, but not the same one um, and um, it actually so the cups are formed and there is a slight bit of padding so I'm not that well endowed um, so, and I do like to make sure that I'm that I don't look if I wear like a normal bra I like I start to get flat like a boy and maybe I'm not that flat but I get really flat I'm used to wearing like a push-up bra because they're not that big so I have to push them up to give them an illusion that they're bigger you know if you're small chested you understand my problem but um, so I do like these and they're, they're form so they make you feel like you're wearing more, uh, it looks like you're wearing more of an actual bra than to wear the ones that make you really flat and look like you don't have anything. So I really like these, I have them in a couple different colors. Now they don't make them anymore, I wish I would have bought more. But hey, I'll wear them till I can wear them no more. My favorite thing is to work out in. I hate working out in pants because I get too hot. I hate working out in t-shirts because if you start to sweat, you have underarm you know, sweat spots. I don't like those, which it's fine because you're at the gym, who cares what you look like, but it's a personal preference. And then I don't, typically I don't like to work out in shorts in case I have to do something to stick my butt or my legs in the air. I don't like people to, I'm worried people are gonna see my butt, so I like to wear, my preferred things are a tank top and capris. That is what I love to work out in and that is typically what I work out in. This is what I have is what I'll wear. I'll probably change into this later because I am going to the gym tonight. Um, and it is just a Nike tank top that I got for like $10 at Kohl's and then I was, it was a lucky score that I was able to find the matching pants. It's like the same print, like the matching pants for like, I think I got them for like 16, 15, 16 dollars. And they are Nike as well and these are just capris. I do love Nike products but I don't pay full price because I think they're outrageous so. Um, everything is clearance signed. And then the next thing is, this matches another bag my, that my mom got me. So I, it's a smaller bag that I may use as well, but typically I've used this Nike one because it's got more space in it. Um, and then it just also says, I'm not gonna pull everything out, but I've just got like shampoo, conditioner in case I have to shower, like another thing, a little deodorant, a razor in case you forget to shave your underarms and you just wanna make sure you're all tidy and don't look all like a hairy beast. You know? I like to listen to music when I work out, especially when I work out alone, so I do like to have my arm bands. I typically don't use this as much as I used to because of I got some new headphones for Christmas, but I, I, I really like this. This is Belkin, this is a Belkin arm band. I got it from Best Buy. I think it was kind of pricey, like $35 or $40, but I do like it also has like another pocket that you can stick your cards in and yeah. 
I really like that. So if you're looking for new armbands, I wanted a Nike one, but I couldn't find one for the big phone and I needed it more right away because um, I didn't want to wait for it. And I do have a Nike glove, like the workout gloves in case I'm lifting. I'm starting to build my calluses up and just have man hands, but I do have these. I used to have, I used to wear these more than what I do now, but I have them in case I need them. I just like to keep them in there. Um, I also take like some, ideally this would be full of water, but I keep an empty water bottle with me and I'll either fill this up at work because we have an ice machine and filtered water there, or I'll fill it up at the water fountain in case I forget to bring like an ice mountain, like a pre-filled one. Um, it's mostly how I typically drink water because that's the only way I'll get myself to drink it, but I'll typically take a water bottle with me so I can make sure I'm hydrated. I also take a pair of socks. My favorite socks are black Nike ones, so they match my shoes. Um, I also have an extra pair. I have a pair of headphones. These are my backup set. These are the ones that just came with my iPhone. And where are my headphones? And then I was so excited. I wanted, when I was working out, like I had a lot of like, if I had like a bar sitting here, like I was holding it here and like setting it here, like pushing up, like the cable would get stuck and like it would be like on my arm and you know, it'd just be in the way. So I wanted a pair of Bluetooth headphones and if I'm gonna go Bluetooth, I'm gonna go all out. I had to get a pair of Beats. But um, I did find these on sale. They were normally like $200 and I got them. I price matched them at Target for like, one, I think, 139 I used my Target card, get an extra 5%, so I saved an extra buck. So I got these for like 130 something dollars plus tax, and my sister gave me money towards these for Christmas, so I think, so I only paid for a part of these. I really love these, because they're, they're lightweight, and you can just stick them over your ears, and they're really comfortable, they don't irritate you, and they come with a cute little carrying case. Also, I take makeup remover wipes, because it's never really good to work out in makeup because if you're sweating you want you don't want it to have clogged pores so if I work out if I'm coming from work I take my makeup off as you've seen if you've seen our empties you've seen a lot of these we love the yes to cucumber ones and then this is not in the other bag I just leave this free floating but it is deodorant and I love this I love one the, the secret clear gel is my favorite because if you have it's not the powder where you take off a shirt and you have the line so once it dries it's clear it's not, you don't have any of those lines. And then also, one thing I really like, I normally just keep this one just for working out as the clinical strength, because it's stronger and it's really hard to, I mean, even if you sweat and had a really good workout and you're like dripping in sweat, if you, if you give yourself a sniff, you still smell whatever the scent is. You can still smell the deodorant, you don't smell like body odor. Which is always a plus, and I'm sure anyone around the gym will be thankful for that. Don't think I'm crazy, but I take, if it's just, if I'm not, I mean, typically wear a pair if I'm coming from home, but if I'm coming from work, I take two pairs of shoes with me to the gym because I have to have, I always take like a pair of like more running shoes because um, it's easier to do cardio. My favorite cardio, I like to either do a light jog or I walk like I have a high, like a, like a faster walk with an incline. That is my favorite form of cardio to do, but it's really, it's, I have to have more cardio fit shoes that are flexible and these are lightweight. I love these. And these are like my, the Nike free line. I have like the train, like TR trainers, the four, like the fours, and these are the fives. Um, the free line, they're, they're really light. They're my favorite pair of Nikes ever. I used to love shocks, but these like, I love these. So I always take those to do cardio. And my newest pair of shoes, which were the most expensive tennis shoes, or I think shoes that I've ever purchased in general. These are my weightlifting shoes. These are my Nike Romaleos. And I did find these on sale as well, but these are actually from the men's department. And these are typically normally like $190 to $200. And I found them for like $130 something plus tax. So, I mean, these are, I typically wear a six to six and a half in women's, but these are a four and a half in men's. I got them on sale. And I got these. These are weightlifting shoes. So they help with your stance if you're either doing squats, deadlifts, or like a bent over row, anything that's with heavier weights, it's better to do, these actually really do help with your form. I really like these, but these give, like these are just flat. They, like there's no way I'd wanna walk a mile in these shoes. So that's why I typically take the other pair that I have. And then also, that's in the bottom here, I have this little lock. It's my travel lock for like, it's the security one <laughs> that I took with, but if you take it to travel, 
I had I didn't have another lock and I didn't want to buy one so I just used this and it seems to work out just fine so I just leave it in my bag and I just lock up the lockers yeah that is what I take with me to the gym again I want to thank you so much for watching um, I hope um, again I apologize if the lighting is somewhat off on this I am learning I'm trying um, so it'll only get better with time so if there are any types of videos or anything that you guys want to see from us leave those in the comments below all as always if you want to check us out on Facebook you can check us out at like Beauty Pop or on Instagram at Insta Beauty Pop. And as always, we post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.